Hi, I'm John Allen. I'm an assistant professor of medicine here at Weill Cornell Medical Center, and I'll be providing the latest iteration of the Red Lamp program, or Review of Emerging Data for Lymphoma Patients. I'm going to discuss a paper entitled Stage, Age, and EDV Status, Impact Outcomes of Plasmablastic Lymphoma Patients, a Clinical Pathologic Analysis of 61 Patients. This, was, this paper was authored by Lock Havi and colleagues out of MD Anderson and the National University of Singapore. So the study background, why they embarked on this, is that plasmablastic lymphoma is a rare aggressive neoplasm with lymphoid and plasmacytic differentiation that is commonly associated with immunodeficiency and unfavorable prognosis. Clinical pathologic features have largely been derived from case reports and small series with only limited outcome analysis. And the goal of the study is to find associations between clinical pathological features of plasmablastic lymphoma and outcomes. So quick disease background, plasmablastic lymphoma is a rare neoplasm uh, and, form, and it's a form of non-Hodgkin lymphoma. It's associated with HIV as well as other immunocompromised states, but it can be diagnosed in immunocompetent states. It is commonly associated with EBV infection, which is felt to play a major role in its pathogenesis. And clinical pathologic features and outcomes in treated PBL patients remain poorly characterized. Standard CHOP therapy appears to be inadequate, and the NCCN guidelines recommend more intensive regimens, though there remains no standard of care to date. So this is a common IHC profile of plasmablastic lymphoma. They are commonly CD20 negative. They express uh, plasma cell markers such as CD38, uh, IRF4, MUM1, which are CD38 is an activation marker as well, and IRF4 is a post-germinal center marker. They highly express key 67 uh, and uh, also frequently associated with MYC alterations. And you can see the majority of these cells are typically EBER positive, meaning that they are infected with EBV. So the study, the, the authors retrospectively identified patients with plasmablastic lymphoma from 1994 to 2013 at MD Anderson and the National University of Singapore. Biopsy specimen slides were all reviewed as part of the study to confirm the diagnosis and inclusion. Clinical data were then obtained from medical records, and patients with plasma cell myeloma were excluded from the study. Here's the immunophenotypic results of plasmablastic lymphoma cases, and you can see common, uh, they, they are consistent with the WHO uh, criteria. They are CD20 negative. They express plasma cell markers such as 50, CD56 and CD138, as well as MUM1. There's frequent MYC overexpression, as well as rearrangements, and high expression of key 67 and uh, EBER positivity. So what they found it uh, that the median age of diagnosis is 49 years, 80% of them were men, and the most common presenting symptoms were GI complaints, localized mass or swellings, oral nasal symptoms. Lymph node disease was common in close to 70% of patients, and extranodal involvement involving the oral or GI tract occurred in over 55%. Again, a majority of the patients, 56%, were stage 3 or 4 and had advanced disease at diagnosis. Four clinical categories were noted. 33% uh, of these were associated with HIV, 5% with uh, post-transplantation, either solid tumor uh, or solid organ transplantation or allogeneic stem cell transplantation. 7% were associated with autoimmune diseases, and 38% were actually uh, found to occur in immunocompetent patients. The HIV patients were younger at diagnosis at 41 age versus 57. And 100% of the PB, uh, HIV cases were EBER positive, whereas 52% in all other groups. EBER was positive in 70% of all patients. Median key 67 proliferation rate was 90%, and close to 70% were positive for MYC gene rearrangements. The treatment regimens varied, but the majority of patients uh, uh, received aggressive therapies with hyper-CVAD or EPOC. Median follow-up was seven months, and median overall survival was six months, which is, uh, you know, a little lower than historical controls, but uh, somewhat consistent. The ranges have been anywhere from seven to 15 months. 50 close to 50% of those who received therapy had uh, complete remission, uh, highlighting that this disease can be chemosensitive. And that age less than 50, lymph node negative status, early stage disease and EBV positive disease were all associated with improved overall survival or event-free survival in univariate analysis. This is showing the difference for age, 
less than 50 or greater than 50. This is showing lymph node negative status versus lymph node positive status. This is showing uh, early stage versus late stage. And this is showing uh, event-free survival for early versus late stage. In conclusion, plasmoblastic lymphoma is a rare neoplasm associated with HIV and immunodeficiency and has historical poor, poor outcomes. There is a high fre they found a high frequency of isolated extranodal involvement and occurrence in immunocompetent patients than previously has been described. Younger patients with low-stage disease appear to fare well when treated with chemotherapy, and further understanding of the molecular pathogenesis are still needed to continue to improve outcomes and further predict response to therapy. Potential incorporation of myeloma-based therapies such as proteasome inhibition and chemotherapy appear, can w appear safe and effective based on recent reports and provide opportunity to improve current standard approaches and experimental approaches targeting EBD or other potential effective therapies. Thank you for your time.